Hey everyone, this is Elaine. In last week's video, What's on My Crafty Tables, I showed you some of the fabric that I had gotten when I was thrifting right before the retreat that I co-hosted. Um, so I told you I was going to put it in a Cracker Barrel box that um, they deliver meals in. So that's what this is. I'm not sure if you can get an idea how big it is, but my carpet tiles are two foot square. So you can see that the box is probably at least two foot, maybe even a little bit bigger. Um, but this over here is all the fabric that came from one of the rugs that um, everybody has been tearing apart, okay? Um, and I would like to give you one piece of advice on that. Wash the rug first before you take it apart. We had picked a couple up of the rugs up on the way in to the retreat, spend the night at a hotel and kind of in there that night, and we thought we'll go ahead and take one apart. Oh, what a nasty mess, dusty, dirty it was. So that's one piece of advice. And then the other bags I told you were um, quilting squares that I picked up at a thrift store, like really cheap. I think they were maybe four or five dollars a bag. And to me, there was a lot of fabric in there, a lot of assortment. So now I'm going to show you the rest of what this video is going to be about. I'm going to go through everything that I picked up either thrifting or what was given um, or maybe I purchased at the retreat. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to turn off this camera and turn on that camera. And what I'm going to do is just pull things from behind me so that you can um, so we can kind of go through everything and I'll do it as rapidly as I can. But there's some pretty cool stuff that I picked up and a, an assortment of stuff. So let me turn this one off and give me a sec. So let's now start with when everyone came in the door. They had a few things sitting on their table already. One is this trash can hobo kind of thing. I picked up a bunch of them from the Dollar Tree. And I just always thought they were so adorable. And I was lucky enough through a couple trips to find 20 of them. And I put a straw with everyone's name on it at their place. They had um, a sanding block. One of those really soft brushes, um, you know, to do inking with. Some earplugs. Because one thing is, I give everyone earplugs because not always do they know their roommates met their roommates before and sometimes women have a tendency just like men to make some sounds at night um but the thing about it is if the person is really sleeping and you know maybe they're snoring a little bit i'm glad that they're getting a good night's sleep because many times it's hard for us to sleep in a strange place so I think it's the least we can do is to wear earplugs if something like that is going to bother you. I gave everyone a seam ripper. I gave everyone an assortment of just regular clothes pins. I had seen where um, people had taken um, little lace and had wrapped it around the clothes pins. The next thing that I gave everyone was a tape measure. I try to keep one in my purse all the time. Um, this one feels like it has sprung. There we go. And then some big paper clips. And let's see what else. I've just got some little things in here. Oh, and then just a few little paper clips, different size little ones. And then these were just things that um, people kind of slid to me. That's a little charm thing and a, a old button. I just dropped in there so I wouldn't lose it. And then um, mine and Annette's cards to talk about our Etsy shop and, and um, how to get in touch with us. So I did put that in there. That was a little self-promotion. And then um, some playing cards that everyone's been talking about that come from um, Five Below. <clears throat> so those were the welcome goodies. Let me put them all back in here. 
and uh, let's see here. What else did I want to show you right off the bat? <clears throat> Before I turn around and start digging and all of that other stuff. All right, you saw um, my secret sister that Nancy did, the postcard, the ATC, and the bookmark. Um, this was a coin purse that Kathy made. And um, she had a few of them there, but this one I noticed that had not been together. So she um, sat there and stitched this one up for me. And I really like it. I like keeping a change purse in my purse. Um, for years and years, I used to save all my change. For what? You know? And so now I really make it a habit of trying to use my change. Because remember, Besides the toilet paper shortage, there had been a change shortage. Remember when people wanted to keep our change? So I'm putting my change back out into the universe. Um, and then, let's see here. Since then, um, I had gotten a welcome. I mean, a welcome. Listen to me. A thank you from Tina and a thank you from Catherine S. We had a lot of Kathy's. Catherine S. And what I really liked about her thank you is that she used some of my blueprint paper that I had given to the newbies. And um, I got this just the other day. So I, I, that was that was special to me. And then a couple other little things I picked up. I'm a Wonder Woman nut. I'd like to pick up paraphernalia with Wonder Woman. And these were a couple things that were at the Five Below store when I got the um, carpet or the rug that I showed you. Then we went, um, the day that we got to um, the retreat place, we um, went to a couple of state sales, and um, I guess one was a yard sale, one was an estate sale. Anyway, I picked up a Carter campaign button, and everyone knows that, you know, I know them and um, don't live too far from them, a couple towns over. So while we were at that yard sale, now this is where I got to start turning around. Excuse me. I picked up these books from them, and all four of these books I paid five dollars for. And it's so funny to me because, yeah, they're kind of weird names, and I've never personally heard of them before. Don't know. They could be something famous, and I'm just out of the loop. But when you open it up, the covers are immaculate. The jackets, not so much, but the covers are in great shape. And also, the printing is pretty large. I just really liked these books. Now, what am I going to do with them at this point in time? Don't know. I probably have to sit and look at them for a little while. That's what I do. And then the other thing is, they had this. And anyone that knows me knows that my husband retired from one of our railroads here in Georgia. And this is an ABC, but it's about um, the railroad. I think I paid a buck for it. Um, one thing that I want to do down the road is a travel journal. So to me, this fit in perfectly. <clears throat> and I'm still sorry about my voice. It just, I can't quite seem to get it back to the way it was. And then another thrift store that Annette and I went to is... Um, it was here over in Warner Robins, and the price on these are not what we paid. It was half of that. But the pictures in these are incredible. They're black and white. They have a touch of gloss to them. But again, this one I thought could be good in my travel. It's transportation postcards. This one is a collector's guide to postcards. But look at that. I mean, they all would be great to use for ephemera, to clip out one of these little pieces. And the fact that they're in black and white, now those don't have any shine to them, these do, but aren't they beautiful? I mean, you know, I can just see getting all kinds of use out of this book. However, again, one thing that gets me about doing this is the pages are two-sided. So if you use something on this side, you can kiss this side goodbye. But I guess that's the price we pay. And here's some more postcards. Um, again, I guess these are just kind of reproductions and everything. And these, these kind of give you the value of the postcard, I guess, if you could find it out in the world. 
and um, I thought some of the ads were interesting and of course some of the postcards so I thought that was a pretty good find let me put this one back get this out of the way all right another thrift store find at the retreat was it's not really sorry um, but it does feel like silk so maybe it is and I just don't know <clears throat> but Annette spotted it for me and I paid two dollars for this garment and it has beautiful work on it beautiful beading let's see if I can get some kind of close I mean that is beautiful to me and I love turquoise turquoise and pink are probably my favorite colors so hopefully that I will put to good use without ruining it and then my friend Nancy because I was a hostess she gave both Annette and I these Indian type blankets and I think there's a fancy name for them and I'm sorry I don't know I have brain fog <clears throat> and then she also gave us this pillow covering and of course Nancy's like you can cut it up if you want to I'm like oh heavens there is no way especially since it was a gift it wasn't something that you know I paid a dollar fifty for um, so Nancy thank you very much for these goodies it was very special and, and I know Annette and I both appreciate it and then some more just junk fabric that I picked up and don't really ask me why on this one but these faded out napkins um, I, I think I was thinking you know after I coffee stained them and stuff they would have a tint of a different color to them and then this tablecloth's kind of brocade and um it, it there's I couldn't find anything wrong with it so this may actually at some point in time also become a journal cover <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna take a drink here sorry about that alrighty so now I'm gonna turn the other way and let's start pulling some goodies here now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toss these on the floor pretty much after I show them to you so this I picked up at one of the thrift stores I've been wanting to do an Asian themed journal for a while I have some pretty cool articles some pretty cool um, pieces of ephemera and a really cool book um, my problem is with it is is the book I really would like to use but I have too much other stuff to put it in the existing book so I need to make a plan but I thought I could probably get two things out of this like maybe pencil holders is what I was thinking or pen holders so I think it was a buck and for two pieces I figured that's going to be good at um, a yard sale we came up and we found these um, cameos and each pack I think was two bucks so again I thought it was pretty good now my friend Debbie always sends goodies for my retreat she was going to attend last year with everything in the world that happened she didn't feel comfortable but she still sent goodies so this year she said she wanted to do it again um, next year she plans on trying to come but anyhow so she sent this smaller pack of ephemera and it has all kinds of fabric and and um, every packet was different and again I chose this one I'm gonna tell you a little secret I pulled mine out before I even went to the retreat so that way I didn't have to take something worry or keep up with it so I did kind of pick out what I wanted that was one thing that I did do for myself and um, so the other one is a larger pack it has some graphic 45 papers in it some napkins some lace lots of ephemera and uh, I see Tim Holtz people so anyway so those were some things that were given to everyone <clears throat> um, we do a give and take table as well as a sale table now the give and take table is just that you can take things you can give things you can leave things um, I just ask everyone for the most part not to be greedy alrighty and um, <clears throat> so far so good but this is cloth if you look back on my videos you'll see one where I showed you a journal was made out of um, greeting cards and this is the cloth that the lady uses 
um, that showed us that. So I picked up a couple pieces of that. Um, I have a bunch of cards that people have sent to me through the years, and I thought maybe I would try my hand at one. Not sure yet, but that's my plan. And then this is a, a bundle of fabric that Annette had for sale. And um, this one, I think she slid to me. It was on my table. So thanks, Annette. I appreciate it, my buddy. And then let's see here. What else do I have? Oh, um, when Annette and I were out and about, she came to my house before we went up to the retreat. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to fit everything in my car. And she came just in case I couldn't. And I probably could have, but there was one box that I really wasn't comfortable driving with, so we put it in her vehicle. But while we were out and about here, we stopped at Bucky's. And if you haven't heard of Bucky's, look it up. It's this convenience store that's usually on the interstates. They've got like a hundred gas pumps. No tractor trailers are allowed. Their claim to fame is the cleanest bathrooms ever. And the stores are amazing. So she bought a purse and I purchased this um, clutch and look at the lace on it. We just couldn't resist. It was so funny. And then these um, cards I had gotten at a, um, a thrift store and, um, you know, they're like for coloring, but I thought they were quite a deal. I think I paid a dollar for them. So I picked those up. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Like I said, I'm going to be digging now. And a lot of this stuff I have not looked at myself, so we're going to be doing it together. Um, I didn't bring it over um, here to the studio, but Kathy did t-shirts for everybody. That was the thing that she brought to give. <clears throat> um, excuse me, and this is Kathy W. We had a bunch of Kathys. And um, she wrapped my t-shirt up in this um, pattern paper which I thought was really cool. So, Kathy, I do want to thank you for doing the T-shirts for everybody. And then these were three packs um, of a, a ephemera, two packs, I guess I have. I thought I had three. But this is um, packs of ephemera that um, I had asked Debbie, since she was giving us so much, if she wanted me to sell anything for her. So she had, like I said, these packs of ephemera, and then she had these packs of... Um, some cards and I had already gotten a few before we left and I just went ahead and purchased what was left over so I need to take those apart and let's see what else here like I said it's kind of a little bit of a hot mess oh this is what was around the pattern paper that had my um t-shirt in it <clears throat> I had asked if anyone had any monopoly cards and I have a plan for these so Kathy W again she's quite a little thrifty person she finds all kinds of goodies excuse me <coughs> and um this came from Kathy L it's a little um notebook and on the back it says you are inscribed on the palm of his hand Isaiah 49 I think 16 so thank you Kathy L <coughs> Grab them by the handfuls here, folks. Hold on. I think I see one more. Let me grab this, too. All right, so now here is a pack of, um, another pack of lace that Annette left for me. So thank you, Annette. She was selling it at the retreat. Not sure how much she sold. Um, Kathy W. gave, um, excuse me, gave, us a bunch of buttons, old buttons, and I had been trying to get some shank buttons, so I got me some out of her pile, so thank you very much, kind of hate to throw all this back on the floor and just toss it over there, all right, now this I have not really looked at, I think this was inside of it, so it looks like a coffee filter, that, yep, it's a coffee filter, and it's been folded so as it makes pockets so let's see here yep so we have I kind of think that wasn't supposed to be that st stuck together there so we have one two three pockets inside that filter cool idea and then um, assorted ephemera and I, of course I'm looking for a name <laughs> I did ask everybody to put their name 
on everything because I knew it would probably be a little while before I got through all of mine. And I don't see a name. However, thank you, thank you. And let's see here. I know Annette um, gave everybody one morning we woke up to a pack of buttons. And I think a lot of these are vintage buttons. That's the way she rolls. She also knows that I was looking for flat beads. Um, you've seen me do my knives and my spreaders, and I like to do them with flat beads. So she um, gifted me those. <coughs> uh, this was funny. I showed you this on the floor the other day. A bunch of swizzle sticks. Um, Kathy W., I don't know, I guess she picked them up somewhere and thought somebody would want them. Um, I did take a few out just for my morning coffee, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have to get them all washed up. And then, oh, this this is crazy. I I needed some chips. I, I, I was going to use nickels, and I thought, nah, I ain't going to deal with all that. So I'll buy some bingo chips. I had to buy a thousand bingo chips. So if you can think of anything I can do with bingo chips, give me a holler. Um, we played a fun little game with it and had a little prize at the end. So they came in handy. Maybe I'll do it again sometime. Oh, and here we go. Here's some more of those buttons. <clears throat> Told you it was kind of a pile over here. Alrighty, so now, whoops. Um, here's a little card. It says blessings. That's one of Tim Holt's little, little people. How adorable. And let's see. Yep, this is from Kathy L. And it is a paper clip. Now, was it on something? Perhaps, I'm not sure. So let's see here. Let's open up this one. <clears throat> so you're doing this with me now because, I, like I said, <clears throat> since I was hosting, I didn't really have time to sit and play. I was always trying to be watchful if anyone needed anything. So <clears throat> here we go. And, of course, I love the tissue. So thank you. <clears throat> oh, this is from Nancy. I know this right off the bat. She had um, gotten a bundle of stuff from Rosemary Morris, <clears throat> different ephemera and different materials and everything, um, some textured wallpaper. I've got tons of this, and I, I just don't ever want to use it. So, yep, and here's some eco-dyed paper. And uh, so let's give Rosemary a little shout-out. Um, this is her information. <clears throat> Nancy... Um, really loves watching her and listening to her so thank you nancy and thank you rosemary for helping nancy out all right this is from kathy l and i'm thinking that maybe that might have been clipped on here so let's see what is in here <coughs> again excuse me i could tell from looking inside the glassine envelope that this is done on the back of an index card but isn't it beautiful? It's stitched down on there. That picture is stitched to the card, you know, and then um, a little pay, uh, cloth ruffle and some little doodads. And I love the, eye, um, the eyelash trim and the button. So thank you very much, Kathy L. And, uh, yep, here's like a little notepad of all kinds of torn paper. And let me tell you, this lady at the retreat, she was a hoot. Um, we played one game, and I'm not going to tell on this, but um, she could crank out stuff super fast, super fast. Alrighty, so now here we are. Um, this is a paper envelope. Let me see if I can get the clip off. And um, the paper flower rosette on the front is cool. Okay, this is from Kat. Um, she's also a Catherine. And... She has given us some old labels. Um, these are some like felt flowers, I guess. Really pretty. And here we go, another flower made out of paper. Mini envelope. Um, some little note paper. Oh, this tag is great. It's great. Yeah, it's got a little pocket on it. She worked on some mini stuff and she sat across from me at the retreat. And I really enjoyed getting to know her. And I hope our paths are going to get to cross again before we have to wait till next year. 
So, Kat, I do appreciate this very much. Like I said, I didn't really have the opportunity to open anything. So when I see these things, I'm like, okay, who did that come from? And um, her envelope looks like it was also made from a magazine page from looking down in there. So we are putting some junk to use. Put that down here with those things. All right, now this one is from Annette. Um, this was the gift that, um, did we, no. This was her welcome gift. Um, we did the trash can. I did the trash can and she did that. <coughs> and again, I'm sorry. My voice is kind of failing me. Some ball pins, library um, envelope, some paper. And then Annette's just known for her lace. Um, some doilies, old postcard. It looks like, um, I don't, she probably didn't coffee stain that one. It looks kind of like it came that color. And then some other pieces of ephemera. And that is some of her paper. So, Annette, thank you very much, my friend. Um, oh, and there's a piece of lace down in here, too. I'm surprised she didn't coffee stain that for us. Just kidding, Annette. Just kidding. But Annette makes beautiful things. And um, she's very, very talented. And um, I'm going to show you in a future video something that she did with um i took a big bunch of fabric samples i took four huge panera food bags full i mean there was probably 500 samples at least that i took and i'm going to show you something that she came up with those all right so let's see here what else we got here <laughs> i'm going to make it through here i know this is a little longer video than what i normally do oh these were i played with clay i showed you where i was doing my clay tiles so one of the things that I played with was um, some mold. So that was that's what they are. Um, oh, these were the packing that came off of my secret sister. Um, this is from Pat. Pat sat there and made everybody some cloth ruffles. But this ruffle, this this material on some of this is like, I don't know. It's I don't know what you call it. that's gray paper. Imagine that. Um, but this is like stiff, like it would be a, um, what's like a, uh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. It's the, the stuff that you hold down seams and stuff with is what it feels like. Um, let's see, I forget what this is. I obviously had opened this one already. Oh, I don't know what came in that. Oh, I think it was Nancy. Yeah, it was Nancy's postcard came in that because everything she decorated like that. Alrighty, so let me put this to the side. Let me get just scoop my butterflies out of the way. They're still yet to be played with. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and get these over here. Alright, here's a little bag of goodies. And this is also from Kathy L. And it looks like um an envelope that just has all kinds of things. There's some old buttons, um, some playing cards. Not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Not sure. May have to ask about that. Um, and I guess just some other cards. Um, I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, verse 14. So thanks again, Kathy L. <clears throat> oh, here's a hot mess. This is all the string that came off of the rug that I took apart. And I figure one day I might be able to do something with that. Uh, bird's nest. And when we um, were all together, Kathy W., the one that I told you is the kind of the one that always hunts for us. I had asked for some books if she found anything in landscape. So she found me this children's book and then um, this music book in landscape style. So thank you very much, Kathy. Kathy W., <coughs> and I'm getting there, I promise. I'm just trying to get things now pulled a little closer to me. We still got a little bit to go, so hang in there with me. Um, I picked up these playing cards at um, Unclaimed Baggage, and I really hope I didn't pay $6.29 for them, but for some reason, oh no, they were having a half-off sale on the, that clearance stuff. 
That's right, flashback. I was like, please don't let me have done that. Um, again, you know that I like Wonder Woman. So, um, Diane had um, found these quilter squares, um, I think at Walmart somewhere, and she brought them to me. So, thanks for the hostess gift, Diane. I appreciate it. Um, and then I just saw these um, playing cards at a Goodwill when Annette and I were out. And because they were the Caribbean, I thought maybe I could use some of them in my travel journal. And then I can gift some of those. And then, a, a, excuse me, Hope um, did a show and tell for us. And she is a scrapbooker. So we had all kinds of people doing different things this time. And so she did this tassel. And it's, a, it's um, on a piece, it's on a cork. And you can see the music paper. So we were all tickled with those. And it's going to hang in my studio here. So thank you, Hope. <clears throat> and then uh, Pat, Miss Pat sat there. And she she likes to um, hand stamp. And she's a fussy cutter from way back. And she thinks all of us like to fussy cut. So she sat there. And uh, she hand stamped a bunch of things for us. So thank you, Miss Pat, but I'm not much on fussy and cutting, but I will fussy cut these since you gave them to us. <coughs> and then I found these labels in the give and take pile. They are sticky labels, but aren't they cool? So um, I'm going to put those to use. And then this was a gift from Annette where she had um, taken some digitals that she had purchased and she cut some out for us under printed some out for us on cardstock. So thank you, Annette. I'm just a flinging stuff. All right, so now this one is one that I have not opened. And it is from Jan. Um, Jan has a YouTube channel too, Ferdston House. And am I opening the right end of this? Yeah, just seems like she really has it. Oh, she's got it stapled. So yeah, I'm on the right end. Hold on, everybody. Stay with me. Don't let me lose you yet. Because I got something really special at the end I want to show you. All right, Jan. Oh, I still hear something in there. Come on out, whatever you are. Okay. So there, a little filigree. And then um, here's a little note card. Let's see if there's anything written. Nope. Just a little, just a little note card. Seems my camera has gotten moved somehow, and I feel like I'm way back. Some tags. Um, Jan's known for her slides, and she puts dried flowers in them. She's got some great videos about that. Um, here's some ephemera and everything that she's given to us. Another envelope. Some tiny book pages. Fancy envelope. Here's um, yeah, a postcard and another charm. And then some other old papers. So, thank you very much, Jan. Let me get all this back together. So, what I do is after I kind of get everything else put away, I go through these miscellaneous envelopes. And normally, I kind of try to put everything in a pile where I can use it. <coughs> <coughs> Alrighty, let's see here. This one is from my buddy Angie. Angie probably is one of the ones that travels the farthest. We do have some come from Texas, um, but Angie travels pretty far as well. Um, I'm trying to get in this without destroying it. Let's see if I can do it here. <clears throat> Angie is very talented. So sweet. I can't begin to tell you. I enjoy seeing her every year. And um, Angie, we're going to have to do something here now. <laughs> I don't, don't want to tear it up, but it's almost like I'm going to have to. I hate this. All right, she's um, given some tea bags, and they're in this little cellophane bag with a little topper on it. I hope I didn't destroy it too bad right away. All right, let's get in here now. I think I've got enough pulled back. <clears throat> yep, 
So she's given all kinds of ephemera as well. Um, I can feel that it's chipboard. A beautiful glass scene envelope. And she has the date of the retreat on it. And then, yep, she's um, done some tag digitals for us. And then let's see what's inside of this envelope. <clears throat> yep, all kinds of more digitals and stuff that she has printed out for us. So, again, Angie, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate all of those goodies. I'm going to put the clip back on and then let me slide this to the side. And um, my buddy Kathy, who's been on here before with me, she um, gave me this calendar. She knows that I'm trying to do a wildlife book, kind of more masculine. So she gave me this calendar. <coughs> this envelope... Um, let's see if there's something inside that tells me who this is from. <clears throat> I'm not seeing it right off the bat. It's got a number 18 <laughs> written on the outside. I guess that was her way of keeping up with how many she did. So some doilies, some lace, um, a napkin, some more ribbon. Um, these cards are interesting. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they are for. Um, and then here's kind of a little planner, I guess. And, and then she's cut up some express mail envelopes. Um, and I know a lot of people use those for their spines in their journals because, um, that stuff doesn't like to tear. So, I don't really know who to thank for the big envelope. Um, and then this one, I think this came from Chriselle. And uh, last year she did, let me, it, it's sitting right here if I don't make a mess. Hold on. Last year, Chriselle did these for us. Um, it's a Scrabble tile holder. And then she had different letters and she did everybody's name on the Scrabble tile holder. And um, it sits here above my desk. So this year she did some little kind of cards. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Again, it looks like an old newspaper. We're going to have some more old ephemera, some ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me, a little golden book. And then miscellaneous kinds of papers and stuff. So thank you very much, Chriselle. <coughs> Maybe my voice is going to hold out. What do y'all think? I think I'm getting close to the end. Um, I did pick up at the thrift store. If y'all can hear me. I picked up at the thrift store um, some borders. Um, I thought that could be fussy cut it. And I love borders that have houses on them. There's something about that in a journal to me. That is great. And, uh, you know, I started off wanting to do art journals and everything. And I would find pictures in magazines of houses and stuff to put in my journal. Um, from the give and take table, I did pick up some vellum. I don't know who brought it. Um, but thank you very much. It was, a, it was a nice surprise for everyone. And I'm looking around. I have just a little bit more to go. Um, Kathy W., I was telling you, she, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This was Jan. Um, she knew that I liked old maps and everything, and so she had found this, and then the fact that it was landscape, let's see if I can do this better. I mean, look at how nice that is. It's a beautiful picture. So I appreciate that, Jan. <clears throat> She had given that to me early on. All right, so I think we're down to one bag. And this came from Tina. So, Tina, thank you. Tina had to step in the last minute for one of her friends. <coughs> so she was not quite prepared. So she kind of gave us all kinds of stuff. This is a folding brush with a mirror. Um, this was a cell phone holder. Here we have a little manicure set, which is good for travel. We have a back washer. 
Um, we have some bubbles. And her daughter makes homemade soap. And um, so this is, if you want some homemade soap and you want to give it a try, um, I know they're in Texas. So there you go. Um, Lush's Lemon by Lisa Johnson. And give her a call. I'm sure she would love to have your business. <clears throat> so let's put all of that back in there. And we also have, this is from Martha. And it's this cute little kind of an envelope sleeve. I don't know what kind of paper that is. And let's see. Um, there's still some more in here. It's kind of gotten squished. I really like the paper. Oh, yeah, it's some like those vellum stickers. And then some charms and gears and a tag. Yeah, well, thank you, Martha. Trying to get all this back in. Alrighty. And let's see, put that in the pile. And then we have this envelope here. Yeah, these appeared on my table too. And I'm not sure who gave us those little charms. Um, and so here we have an envelope. And I think it's full of different ephemera as well. Yeah, some tags, some journaling cards. Yep, yep, yep. So thank you, Sherry, for this. I greatly appreciate it. Sherry got recruited by her friend of like 40 some years that has been coming to our retreat since it started. Now this came from Kathy and Charlene. It's um, a basket and they knew I liked Wonder Woman so they found Wonder Woman ephemera and, um, and, and gave it to me. So it's got a tassel on the side. Let's see here. We've got some napkins. Um, this is a decorated seashell. I'm sure Charlene did that with a napkin. Um, some drink circles. You write your name on some bling, bling, bling on this side. And then let's see what we have here. We have a little journal and a pen and another little journal. So thank you. And then here we have miscellaneous fabrics. Thank you. And then a little bag and another bag. Let's see. Here we go. And let's see what's inside of here. Oh, yeah. These, um, I was with Charlene when she did these, actually. This was my die. She made some slides. So thank you guys for that. And... So I probably won't get everything put back together the way it was. <clears throat> is with us. And, um, you know, how she always sends stuff for us and everything. And, and then this year, I had asked her if I could show and tell she does vintage albums. And honestly, I don't even think these are vintage. I think these are antique. So it's even more precious. <clears throat> and uh, she sent me three heavily insured <laughs> separate box um, but I got them and they've been returned but this is the kind of person she is she told me since I have been so good to her and my our friendship has grown she wanted to gift me one of them so she gifted me the one she called the mermaid journal now again I'm not going to go into a lot of detail but the charms and things that are hanging on this are incredible. And I'm very scared of them. And I'm just going to open it up to one page. And you're going to have to come back to see the rest. So this is just one of the pages in this album. And um, I'm telling you, this retreat that we did has been like no other. And you get pampered. You know, you could get a massage, you could get a manicure, a pedicure. You had a comfortable bed, clean shower, three meals a day. We got to stay five nights, which is usually longer than we get to. And that's great for those that travel so far. So the ladies that this was their first retreat really got pampered. Um, no other retreat 
that I have been to that is just hosted by like nobody famous, just me and Annette. Um, this is the cream of the crop. And, um, you know, if you're ever interested and you're in our area, I just do it once a year. Right now, I do have a waiting list, um, but you never know. And I don't think I have it in me to do it more than once a year. But again, you never know. If I get enough people that want to and there's an opening, perhaps we can see. So anyhow, that's it. I'm going to ask you to join me every Tuesday. I do a video, um, 6 o'clock Eastern time. I'm also on Facebook. I have a group and a page and then my personal one. Um, excuse me. <coughs> I'm on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. You can pretty much find me anywhere. Um, I also have a small Etsy shop. Don't really do a lot with it right now, but I have a few items. So please, if you don't mind, subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up. And maybe the next time you hear me talking, my voice will be back to normal. So I appreciate your time and watching. And I hope you got some inspiration here and, and know how much fun we all had. And, you know, maybe one day you can join us too. So I do appreciate it. Like I said, my video is a little longer than normal. But please be safe out there and behave. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.